So this is the front porch of the Upper Goose Pond cabin. And it's also an inside here. The table and some chairs. You come up the stairs and you come into the bunkhouse, which has a series of bunks. No electricity, but you don't need it. It keeps it nice and dark in here. There's a dock and there's also a beach. Here's the dock. And there's Goose Pond. And this is the bear box and where we had breakfast this morning. I'm always excited when there's a log book long enough back to see Bad Bat's name in there because I followed her. That's so that was cool. Seeing her and also some other friends who stopped here as well. Bugs, Bushman, and Gazelle. It is a brisk 48 degree start this morning. <clears throat> I'm wearing my leggings. Of course, if it's too cold for shorts. I would be wearing my red shirt but it is still wet. I hung it up and this Eagle shirt to dry last night on the clothesline. The Eagle shirt most of the way dried, so that was great. But the red shirt is still damp and I don't want to be putting on a damp long sleeve in uh, this weather, in this, in this temperature. So I put it in my Ziploc bag again. It's definitely a lot drier than it was. It's not soaked and dripping anymore. It's just damp. So I'll be able to dry it again, hopefully later. If I get too cold, I can put on my raincoat or something. Good morning, Appalachian Trail. Good morning. We are Stick the Eagle here, and welcome to the Appalachian Trail. We are hiking northbound <coughs> from, uh, where are we hiking from? Springer Mountain, Georgia to Mount Katahdin, Maine. It is day 97, and I am so thrilled we are so thrilled that you are part of our day today. If you have been here before, welcome back. If you are new, welcome. And I hope you enjoy following along with us for the journey of day 97 here on the Appalachian Trail. We were with Nichols and Frizzle and others last night. And the plan is for all of us to go into Dalton, Massachusetts today, Greylock tomorrow, and Vermont the day after that. So let's keep heading northbound. We are coming off a 20 mile day into the Hemlock Shelter, then a 14 mile day the day it stormed through Great Barrington, and then 21 yesterday. And it'll be another 20 mile day today into Dalton, Massachusetts. We found another on trail log book, which is cute. I just signed, now Frizzle signing. <laughs> Scenic spot on trail. This is the Mass Pike. Interstate 90. We are at mile 14 on the Mass Pike. Yay! <laughs> we, we, we got that. Appalachian Trail back at mile 14.7. What? Oh, Berkshires. The Berkshires. Hey, we get the cross 20. I did get warm while climbing this hill, so it worked for me getting warm. This is Beckett Mountain that we've been climbing 
and we're three tenths of a mile away. So let's keep on heading uphill. It's only a 700 foot climb. I don't know why I feel so tired. I think it was because I was pushing past my usual pace, trying to keep up with Nichols and Frizzle up the mountain. It's not just a mountain, it's steep. I've just resolved to figure out that I'm a little bit slow uphill and I'm okay with that. I need to compare myself to others, but I think it's because I have a heavier pack, honestly. <laughs> yeah, so Cheese Block is from Connecticut. And he's the one who helped me on that day, whatever, four, six at low gap. <laughs> um, to set up that tent that I was struggling with. Thank you, Cheese Block, but sorry, I guess doing, well, glad you're doing a day hike. Um, sad to see you off the trail. Nichols and, Sh and Frizzle, I know them. <laughs> Whoa, we're here. <laughs> yeah. Hi, Cheese Block. I don't know if you watched the videos. I, I saw don't you a couple either. times in Georgia and North Carolina. Yes. Yeah. I saw you once coming down from the shelter where I met Stick. I saw him at Low Gap and I crossed the border with him. I yeah. crossed the Georgia and North Carolina border with him. That was That's fun. Amazing. He took my picture there. Oh, amazing. I took his picture. Jay. Cheese Block was the first one to carry. The emergency yellow hiking bridge. Yes. So, yeah, which I guess is in Glasgow last I heard. So it's making its way. Making its way north. It has to make it to Katahdin before the year ends. Oh, cool. Yeah. All right. We're on top of Beckett Mountain. Woo. Yippee. Here we go. Here's the official sign Beckett Mountain 2180. All right. We passed Beckett Mountain. It's pretty flat but I am feeling a little bit lightheaded. So I'm gonna stop for a little bit of a water and a little bit of a second breakfast. I think the trick for today's second breakfast is gonna be beef jerky and more trail mix. I love having a lot of trail mix with me. All right, we are hiking on. We have fresh energy, fresh legs. We took about 20 minutes, not too long. I read some comments. Always enjoy reading your comments while I was eating and refueling. I'm also glad I wore my leggings because it is cold again. Once I stop walking, I get cold. My arms are cold. I'm still wearing my short sleeve shirt since my long sleeve shirt is still damp. Um, but I know I'll get warm again now that I'm walking. Just need to keep walking to stay warm. Haven't said that in a while, have I? All right, I am grateful for hills that warm me up on a cool morning. I'm grateful to be here in the Appalachian Trail. I'm grateful for each and every one of you who is watching, supporting me along the way. I'm grateful to my family, to my uncle for doing that huge trail magic this past weekend. I'm grateful for so many things. Grateful for Frizzle and Nichols to be traveling with them and for their friendship. What are you grateful for this morning? Let me know. I get these boulders. I get to navigate. Luckily, most of them are flat. They can slow you down a little bit, but definitely. Rather than just walking on a flat, non-rocky surface, you have to be careful where you step, of course. I'm feeling the same feeling of isolation that I did yesterday here in Massachusetts. And I absolutely love it. Massachusetts has a lot more wilderness area that we get to hike through than I've felt in other states at least. Am I going to trust this board? I think so. Current temperature is 57 degrees. Honestly, it's perfect. I do get a little cold if I stop for a while, but while hiking, it's just perfect weather. Right now we find ourselves climbing a hill which is named bald top and then October mountain is directly after that with the October mountain shelter this is bald top it is most definitely not bald I wonder how they get the names for these things wow what happened here there's like a whole ecosystem that fell here <laughs> at least they cut a path through wow <laughs> I 
We've got a fun one here on October Mountain, the one that's just the right height. You can't go over it and you can't go under it. Little remote pond by this dirt road. I love the scenery, don't you? We all love this scenery. I did stop at the October Mountain Shelter to use the privy to empty myself out for the next eating. Uh, the Cookie Lady 2.0 is up at the next road crossing. And I, I did have to fill myself up with some calories, probably about eight ounces of food uh, at the rock that I stopped at earlier. That's when I let Fristel go ahead. But I needed that because I was feeling weak at that point. So I knew I needed calories, but I'm ready for some more. I had pancakes with Nichols, Frizzle, and a few others this morning at the Goose Pond Hostel. It was very nice. They had pancakes and coffee. I just had pancakes because I don't drink coffee. I had six, but they were small, like, dollar size pancakes. So six was less than the five I had that time at Bear's Den. <laughs> so, but an hour and a half to two hours into the hike, I needed more than just the pancake fuel that I had. So I had those, I had more calories. I think there's a tip in the works there. That's the first time I've really felt like lightheaded on trail from not eating enough in the morning. So make sure you eat enough. Don't eat too much. Here's your 12 o'clock tip. Do not eat too much in the morning, otherwise you'll just feel gross and full. Um, but eat enough, and I really like the theory of having a second breakfast. So you eat a little bit when you are just about to start hiking, but not too much. And you hike, you get those calories behind you, digest a little bit, and then you have a second breakfast. Have more calories. So, but especially if you notice yourself feeling weak, Try eating and drinking. That usually helps. I also noted at the logbook that Bugs, Bushman, and Merlin are now six days ahead of us. They were five, but now they're six. So they're really cruising. Also, Captain Jack was on Greylock on Saturday. I know because he met Gazelle on Greylock on Saturday. And today is uh, Thursday? No, today's Wednesday. I don't even know what day it is. So, I should be at Greylock tomorrow, Thursday, which would be five days behind Captain Jack. So, still closing the gap. I was 12 days behind him at Harper's Ferry. Now I'm five days behind him. We shall see if I shall catch him at some point. I'd like to meet him, because I was following him before I left for my hike. What's happening here? Removing non-native Norway spruce allows native tree species additional resources promoting better forest health and growth. So they're logging over here, trying to get rid of one species and allow the native species to grow, I guess. Intriguing. Nickel's on trail! Hello, 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 Frizzle! What was that? In my eagle shirt. Yes. I love all the fruit here. It's amazing. Love when they have grape soda. <laughs> and fruit. Bananas, apples, oranges, and cookies, and Werther's. Can never go wrong with that. Thank you very much. So anyway, this is the spread. We, we dealt with most of the cookies, packed some out. Apples, bananas, Werther's. Oranges and water refill and soda, grape soda as well. So thank you so much to both of you for offering this trail magic. We are obligated to check out the cookie lady briefly as well. Make cookies, not or. Love it. We have plants here and blueberries. Information for hikers, electricity is huge. The hangers over there. This is a property tenting area. Port of John and a minibus. There's water here. A log book. Mark your state. And 
take two or three cookies, always homemade. Terrific. I love the charging station there. Appalachian Trail, Mount Greylock, here we come. So Cookie Leader 2.0 told me that the Wileys were there for 35 years being Cookie Lady. That is something terrific. And even more terrific is that the new person who came to the home wanted to continue serving hikers. So she said that she uh, works as a volunteer at Goose Pond sometimes. So she loves the hiking community. I'm so happy when the people who live close to trail like this want to support hikers and do things like this. So thank you so much. <laughs> My dream would be to have a house within two tenths of a mile of trail sometime. So the guy I just met, he said he never filters water, that there's no need to filter water. He's never gotten sick and he's hiked. This is his third time hiking the AT. <laughs> I think that some of us are immune to that. Perhaps just like some of us, like myself, are immune to poison ivy. I can cut as much poison ivy as I want, it seems, and I've never had a reaction. Some people might be able to drink as much unfiltered water as they want and never have a reaction. Maybe I'm one of them, but I'm not testing it. This section's been pretty cruisy for me because it's been flat, and I like flat. I can do two miles in like 40 to 45 minutes, which is pretty nice. I know I have one more hill coming from which apparently you can see Greylock from. So that's cool. And a little bit more mud coming, of course. There's been more mud the farther north I've gone, but that's okay. We gotta cross this river. Cross this river with me. Let's go. Not too big. The mud's more of my concern than the actual water. All right. Thanks for crossing that little stream with me. And by the way, that trail magic, awesome. Like, just water to fill up spring water, cold spring water, cold sodas, and cookies and fruit. You can never go wrong with that lineup. We don't carry fruit because it's heavy, so we need to get fruit in our systems. Thank you so much for driving out here and offering trail magic to us hikers today. We were flat and cruisy for a while. Yeah. I think we're starting our climb mm -hmm. up this uh, mountain. Hills can slow me down a lot if they're a long hill. So I'm trying to use as much of the momentum that I gained from that flat spot to get up this first little bit of this climb. And it worked. I got up to the top with my momentum. Now I have another little flat stretch. I'll see if I can get the, that back catch my breath and uh, I know there's more to come but all that momentum helped me get up that first climb pretty well I actually have reason to believe that some of my momentum is brought on by the two sodas and two bananas that I ate at Trail Magic so thank you again for that wonder Alter. Kwood Shelter and then Crystal Mountain Campsite's 10 miles from here. I'm planning to stop in between those two sites at Dalton, Massachusetts. Will Vardy's has a campsite in his yard and he often feeds hikers too, which is part of the reason why I want to push to see if, if there is a feed, I want to make it. I'm not going to count on the feed, but I don't want to miss it if there is. So. All of us, Frizzle, uh, Nichols, and myself are planning on stopping in Dalton at Lavardi's and hitting Greylock tomorrow. All right, this is the top of Warner Hill. You can see that mountain range there. And that, my friends, is Mount Greylock. I can see, I hope you can see, that I can see the tower on the top of Mount Greylock there. That is what we get to climb tomorrow. Great view. 
Warner Hill with Mount Greylock in the background, right there. We're going down Warner Hill right now. We're here at the Kaywood Shelter area, Dalton, Massachusetts, two and a half miles. Onward northbound. I do admit that I did a little bit of rushing this afternoon. I cruised, it's 4.30 now, and left a little after two, so in the, the road, so in, Two and a half hours, I've done almost seven miles, which is really fast. <laughs> but I wanted to make sure that if there was a dinner at Lavardi's, that I didn't miss it. So I've got two and a half miles to go. It's 4.30, should be good. And first of all, Nichols are still somewhere ahead of me. I'm impressed they haven't caught up with them. They must be cruising too. I don't really like like cruising too fast. I do like just wandering through the woods and enjoying the journey, embracing the journey, and not trying to go too fast. So I do really try to make this a very rare occasion now because I definitely enjoy and get a lot more out of the hike. And I'm just like, wow, embrace the wilderness. I love the sound of water, Appalachian Trail, north. It really is peaceful out here. I love when I find a campsite that is just so close to the water and you can listen to the sound all night as you fall asleep or edit videos in my case. We love this. As we walk along, we have another hill in front of us. And I was going to Tex Frizzle and Nichols and see where they're at. But I'm a mile and a half away from Dalton, there's no service. That's okay, up the hill. These are honestly the kind of hills that break your pace and be like, I'm a mile and a half away from town, it should be all downhill, right? And then they throw one more hill in front of you. We embrace it. We're gonna take this one too, but Again, this would go through a hiker's head. Why? <laughs> this is a steep one too. And you know what? The trail curves and makes a U just so it can go over this hill. I'll show a picture right here. My momentum is gone. We are headed up that. <laughs> Do they call this heartbreak kill or something? <laughs> so this hill is bringing me from 1500 feet to 1750 feet above sea level. Town is about 1200 feet above sea level. So instead of going down the 300 feet to town and where we were at at the river, we decided to go up 250 and then down 550. It's just how the AT works, folks. What am I grateful for today? I'm grateful for that trail magic. I'm grateful for my new shoes, which have been get, helping my feet so, so much, thanks to the tr huge trail angel in Pennsylvania. I'm grateful to everyone who helped pay for my new shoes. Um, and multiple pairs down the line. <laughs> I'm, I'm so grateful for many things. And get a good meal down in Dalton tonight, either at Lavardi's or at a restaurant. But I will tell you that hill had me sweating the most I've sweated all day today. As we begin our descent into town, I'm also thankful for the cool weather today in the 50s, up, up to 60 degrees, which has been great for hiking. And 
while the hill in the last two miles before town was annoying at first, I recognize that the last seven miles have been real cruisy, so a little climb like that is okay, because I've been giving an easy trail recently. And now we're climbing over boulders, people. The trail is near the side of that boulder field. That's another thing about expectations. I'm like, oh, less than two miles out. I'll be there in 30 to 40 minutes. AT, little do you know, ha ha ha. Don't expect anything. And I wasn't, I was just like, I'll be there before six. And then I was like, wow, I'm really cruising. I'll have no problem getting there by 5.30. AT, ha ha, evil laugh. Don't ever expect anything. I've said that before, and I'm just reminded of that yet again. My, aren't these ferns beautiful? We get to go up another hill. Just because it's here. I don't think we're going all the way up, actually. I think we're turning right here. It's beautiful out here. I know, we're turning again. And we're turning again. We are going up, just gradually. All right, it is 5.30 and I'm about a quarter to a half mile away. And I got, I have service here. So I got the text out to Bristol and Nichols and I guess they're not doing dinner at Tom, or yeah, Tom Lavardi's, which is fine. They are currently eating dinner at the restaurant. So I'll see if I can tag in. I do feel left behind by them a little bit because they knew I was coming and didn't wait for me to uh, go to the restaurant, but it's okay. I couldn't get a text out, so they didn't know how long I'd be or anything like that. Sometimes I've been like an hour and a half or two hours behind them, so can't blame them. Here's the railroad track. And now we enter the town of Dalton, Massachusetts. Dalton, Massachusetts. There's a blaze in the telephone pole. A true tail, trail town. And I get to walk right on the town sidewalk. We observe and look at this house here. That's cool. We have, what's this place called? Did we stop that? What's Someplace. The, what's, the name what's the name of this place? place? Uh, Dewey's Public. Oh. Dewey's Public House. Yes. Yeah. So we're at Dewey's Public House right here, eating pizza and fries, and I'll get a beef stroganoff and some food. So looking forward to a good meal here in Dawson, Massachusetts. Beef stroganoff has arrived. Nice hot meal. And the chicken and broccoli Alfredo pizza to go. It has a Nickel stamp of approval. Nickel stamp of approval, yay. All right, Stick just finished his beef stroganoff, and now he's working on the pizza. It's yeah. good. <laughs> Chicken and broccoli, that's the other, that, that's the other uh, beef, uh, beef refuel meal that I have, is chicken and broccoli Alfredo and the beef stroganoff. So it's a perfect fit for what I like on trail. Sweet peas. So I got my favorite flavor, green mint chip, of course, with the chocolate mousse tracks on top. Nichols, what did you get? Maple walnut and better brownie batter. Awesome. <laughs> now we're at Lavardi's, still eating pizza and eating ice cream. <laughs> Frizzle's here. <laughs> we are here in Dalton, Massachusetts at Tom Lavardi's hostel so we are grateful to be here we have our tents set up here in the background there's frizzle here's my tent and nickel's tent it's the three of us here tonight so it should be a nice night we, we're backyard camping again which is a thrill i haven't done backyard camping in 
I don't know how long. I did one back or er, backyard camping in January to test my cold weather gear, and it was quite cold. Because I'm from Massachusetts, so yeah, yeah. I did my cold weather camping in January too, and it was like 25 degrees. It was quite cold. Yeah. But yeah. that that was at Riga Mountain Shelter. But not backyard camping. Yep. <laughs> it's kind of cool to be doing this. Thank you so much to Tom for allowing hikers to come onto his property. Mm -hmm. And he has a charging station. He offers water at the picnic table. It's just a, it's a really fun place to be. So, so thankful for him. We are at the end of day 97. Crystal's 95. We are nearing 100. That's hard to believe. So... We head to Greylock tomorrow, and then Vermont the day after that. Sweet. That's exciting. Actually, we might be in Vermont. Oh yeah, yeah, you're right. The day after. Day after. You're the day right. after Greylock. Yeah, yes. Greylock tomorrow night. Hoping for good weather and good sunset, maybe. Mm -hmm. So stay tuned for a sunset. All right, we are on an AT journey, and if you'd like to follow along for some more AT content, please be sure to subscribe. We're here in Massachusetts. We have much more to come. And if you'd like to follow along for some live updates, you may feel free to follow along on my Instagram, same handle as my YouTube, at StickTheEagle. For now, remember to embrace the journey and happy, happy trails. trails.